Stand up on your feet and welcome to this stage one of our heroes, Officer Nicholas Peterson with Savannah Police Department, joined by Chief Roy. Officer Nicholas Peterson, he's assigned to the Southside Precinct. He was the first responder on the scene at a May 5th fire at the Savannah Summit Apartments that all of you may remember that happened on Hampstead Avenue. Without hesitation, Officer Peterson entered the building and ran up 11 flights of stairs through the stairwell where sprinklers were already activated to the apartment that was on fire on the 11th floor. Inside of the apartment, he located a 60-year-old woman who had burned very badly. He pulled her out of the hall, uh, fire into the hallway, leaned her up against the wall, and she told him that her daughter was still in there. When the firefighters arrived on the scene, he briefed them about the missing woman's daughter, and they took over the search in the apartments. Now get this, Officer Peterson put this 60-year-old burn victim on his back 11 stories up and carried her down the 11 flights of stairs to the paramedics who performed on her everything they could to try to help her and get her comfortable. Unfortunately, the 60-year-old woman who was taken to the burn center in Augusta, Georgia, died of her injuries. Officer Peterson jumped to action that day, putting himself in harm's way, and for this, we believe he is a deserving candidate for the 2000 TAC Argentina's Valor Award. Advanced Firefighter Andrew Lee with Chatham Emergency Services, joined by Chief Kearns. Please come on up. On Saturday afternoon on August 24th, Firefighter Lee, Nemerson, and Taylor responded with other agency members to a raging multi-story Liberty Oaks Brandlewood apartment building fire in unincorporated Chatham County. Approximately two dozen people, 11 families, and their pets were left homeless. All three of these firefighters, at the risk of their own life, met the call of duty in this chaotic scene by entering the building in an attempt to suppress the fire, while firefighter Lee, Neverson, and Taylor were engaged in suppression and search operations on the third floor of the building, the roof caved in on these three firefighters, causing some serious burns and injuries. The advanced firefighter, Neverson, had some of his protective gear knocked off when the roof collapsed, exposing him to the fire and the debris. He had burns to his face, his neck, his hand, and he was able to escape down the stairway. Now the other two firefighters, have you seen the other two firefighters that are talked about in that rescue were also there and uh, have them stand up and take a bow. So thank you all very much. God bless you all. Thank you.